Welcome to my channel, The King Lee Way. My name is King, and today I am here at Ayala Ma Central Block, located in IT Park in Cebu, Philippines. And where I am right now is I am at Brad's Buffalo Restaurant. Now, what they have is a billboard of Kobe Bryant. So, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show my acknowledgement for the victims that have perished in the helicopter crash. And because I am a Southern California, Los Angeles resident, and I have watched Kobe Bryant over the years play live at Staples Center, and what that man has done in the past 20 years as a Los Angeles Laker. Now, what I wanted to see in the future with Kobe Bryant is what he would do in the next 30 years to do develop businesses and what he can do for the next generation. So, what I wanna do right now is, I wanna talk about each person here that perished in the helicopter crash. So starting with Kobe Bryant, we all know what his accolades and accomplishments are. So, so the sad thing is I wanted to see what he can do as a father and his business accomplishments. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a sticker and I'm gonna put the sticker right here for Kobe Bryant. Rest, rest in peace, Mom, Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant. Okay, the next person I wanna talk about is his daughter, Gianna. Her aspiration was to play for the University of Yukon. For those that don't know what Yukon is, it's a university with the women's powerhouse college. Yukon has won numerous amount of NCAA championships. She had the aspiration to play for Yukon and to go into the WNBA. So what I would like to do is I like to stick my sticker and another rest in peace for Gianna, his daughter, right here. Okay, now I wanna talk about the others that have perished into the helicopter crash. And I wanna start with the Altobelli family. So the first gentleman I wanna talk about is John Altobelli. Who is John Altobelli? He is the baseball coach for the past 27 years at Orange Coast College. He has won four state California championships there. And he's taken that helicopter ride with Kobe numerous amount of times. Reason why? Because his daughter Alyssa plays on Club Mamba. So, and the ones that perished is John, his wife Carrie, and Alyssa, the teammates. So what I would like to do is, I like to put the sticker right here. Here's for rest in peace, John Antobelli. And underneath, I wanna put Carrie Antobelli. So hopefully these stickers can stay here and don't disappear. So we acknowledge the other victims that perish in the helicopter crash. And this is for Alyssa Antobelli, age 14. So that is the Altobello family. Their uh, memorial is gonna be held at Anaheim Stadium on Monday or February 10th. Oh, okay. Next person I wanna talk about that perished in the crash is Christina Mauser. She is survived by her husband and three kids. Who is Christina Mauser? Well, Kobe Bryant hired her as the top assistant coach at Club Mamba. She is known for the mother of defense. She is good at teaching the defense to her eighth grade girls. She is the mastermind with how she can manage the girls. And for Kobe Bryant to hire this woman, she knows her stuff. And it's gonna be sad to lose her. Somebody that had the passion for basketball. And I wanted to acknowledge her so rest in peace, Christina Mauser. Okay, the next victims I wanted to acknowledge is Sarah Chester and Peyton Chester, mother and daughter that perish in the crash. So Sarah Chester plays on Club Mamba. So they're all teammates. So according to the principal at St. Margaret's School, 
they say that she had a big smile on her face and brought a lot to the table. Just brought a lot of joy around her teammates and the sport of basketball. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to honor and acknowledge Sarah Chester. She perished at the age of 45 and Peyton Chester, the teammate of Club Mamba right there. Okay, and the last victim that crashed, I wanted to talk about the pilot. His name is Ara Zovanian, 20 year pilot. And one thing, he's been Kobe Bryant's private helicopter pilot for the past few years. And quote, Kobe Bryant said, he would not let anybody fly him except for Ara. And in the article in the Los Angeles Times, one of his uh, students, uh, I don't know his first name, but it's under Kent, mentioned that Ara really helped him to teach him to fly and not to drop out for the testament of this man. And he was very well experienced with the terrain in Los Angeles. And he's flown that same terrain millions of times going from John Wayne to, you know, Calabasas headed to Thousand Oaks. So yes, he is very familiar, very experienced pilot, and Kobe trusted no one else. And you know, it's unfortunate what happens, happened. But still, you know, we lost some great people. We lost people of good character. We lost good people in the world. So, sorry for my shaky camera. So here, I wanted to honor Ara Zobanian, the pilot who flew the helicopter. So, those are the nine people that's perished. So for those subscribers I have in the Philippines, now you have a group of people, the seven honors that has been honored and they need to be acknowledged in this case. So, just one thing, live your life to the fullest and wherever you are in the world, in here in the Philippines or in Los Angeles or around the world, I want everyone to have a great day. Thank you.